Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips. But today we are back for another vlog style type video and I'm going to show you how I prepare for a wedding order. So I really left this up until pretty much the very last minute. If you've been following my journey in the last few months, then you know that I was directing a musical. I'm still directing another musical that's coming up. So my days are still really, really tight, although not quite as busy as they were a couple weeks ago. But aside from being very busy, the secondary reason why I left this up until the last minute is because I really wanted these cupcakes and cake to be very, very fresh. I'm calling this an order, but really it's a gift to my sister and now brother-in-law. She was a very classic bride that wanted things to be nice and clean and elegant. Her whole wedding was pretty much pure white with little pops of dusty rose. Everything that she showed me on her Pinterest board was super, super simple. She wanted a semi-naked cake with a bunch of cupcakes. And because that's so easy to do and I didn't have to make things far in advance, that's why I took advantage and made everything super fresh at the last moment. Now, one issue that I was running into is she wanted the Dulce de Leche cupcakes that you might have remembered I made back at Easter time. However, those were covered in a whipped cream topping and it was so, so hot this past weekend in Vancouver. So I knew displaying cupcakes with whipped cream for that many hours was definitely not a good idea. So I opted to go for an Italian meringue buttercream. I also ended up making a bunch of these filled as well. She did not ask for these to be filled, but I thought what I would do is I would set aside some of the Dulce de Leche cupcakes that had that whipped cream topping, put them in the fridge, but on the main tower, I would have a whole bunch of the cupcakes in her colors. And I decided it would be too boring if it was just vanilla or chocolate. She was really easygoing, so I decided to go with a strawberry compote in the center of the vanilla ones, and then a Nutella filling in the center of the chocolate ones. The wedding was on a Saturday, and I finished baking all of the cupcakes and this cake on the Friday, I decided to just go the distance. Why not make things a little bit easier for myself on wedding day and crumb coat this cake, which was essentially actually finishing the cake because she just wanted a semi-naked cake. If you want to see a full tutorial on how to do a tiered semi-naked cake, I actually made her this one in the upper right hand corner, which you can check out. Now, I don't usually recommend semi-naked cakes for weddings just because I find that if it's in an air-conditioned venue, it does tend to dry out pretty quickly. There's really no protection on the outside. So to combat that, I do try and add a little bit extra syrup in there. And you could do flavored syrups. I just did a regular simple syrup. In the background, you might notice that I have all of my cupcakes perfectly lined up. There really is no baking purpose for this. It doesn't make the product better. This is solely so that I can get shots of the cupcakes. I can add things to my story. If you guys are home baking businesses or bakery businesses, then this is the kind of stuff we have to do in order to keep that small business going, right? I mean, it's so hard. You always hear it's difficult to keep up with social media stuff and making sure that you've got the right shot. Some Sometimes though, you gotta do these types of things and that's why they're all perfectly lined up like that. I was really hoping to ice these cupcakes before I went to bed, but I was just too exhausted. I had already been working a full day before this and then came home and did this, so I decided to package them up. Here we are, it's wedding day, it's wedding day morning, things are chaotic. I still have to fill and ice all of the cupcakes, yeah. but my daughter is very excited. Um, but uh, that's gonna be a pretty quick job, not super, super long. Um, and then I have to go to my sister-in-law's house because we are going to get all of the little flower girl's hair done. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Somebody commented on my short the other day, how come you package them in groups of six? Why not 12 or even something bigger? And the truth of the matter is somebody actually donated all of these to me. So I have a bunch of six packs of cupcakes. So I decided to use them up. Also, it was a good idea because we were able to give the guests the leftover cupcakes in these small little packages. I've got to reheat all of my buttercreams because I put them in the fridge yesterday and we're gonna whip them up really fresh. I reheated that for a bit on the stove and then I go ahead and place it back on the stand mixer and just keep whipping it. And as I was whipping that, I got all of these ready so that I could actually fill them. And in order to fill them, I use this strawberry huller. Sometimes I just take a gloved hand and then I poke a hole in the center. It really just depends what I'm doing. So this time I really wanted to make sure that I had a deep spot for all of that filling. 
One thing I discovered while I was doing this is I don't have enough large piping bags. I don't do a lot of big orders like this anymore, but every once in a while someone gets married or someone throws a really big party and I really should invest in larger piping bags because it was super frustrating having to open up the piping bag and refill it pretty much every 12 cupcakes. The whole house was abuzz with wedding responsibilities, but my son did take the time out of his busy day to lick the remaining Nutella off of the spatula. Once all of the cupcakes were filled, I got to piping, and what was really interesting was just adding that little bit of pink food coloring kind of changed the texture a little bit, and I didn't really notice until I went over to the white buttercream and piped that out. It just kind of was a little bit thicker with the food coloring, which was very, very interesting to me. I went ahead and added on sprinkles to any of the cupcakes that were unfilled. This is how I let the guests know what it is that they're going to be having. And I was so happy that my my sister-in-law requested rosette cupcakes. Had she gone with a peaked cupcake, I would have had to make a lot more buttercream, but two batches of buttercream did the trick, so I was super pleased. Then I went ahead and I closed all of these up fairly quickly because I was super afraid that something would happen. You know, when you're working in your home, you never know what sticky little fingers might accidentally get into those cupcakes, or, you know, I could be clumsy and knock something over. So I closed those up as soon as possible. After doing that, I quickly headed over to my sister-in-law's place to do all of the flower girl's hair. This is how the hair turned out. I was going fast, but I managed to get everybody done in about an hour and a half. So I was pretty pleased with that because I had to rush home and I had to finish the Dulce de Leche cupcakes and put that fresh whipped cream topping on. No gelatins, no stabilizer. I basically just put the whipped cream and the whisk attachment into the fridge with the bowl and then I took it out and then I went ahead and I whipped it up and then here we are. We've got all that beautiful whipped cream. I was so happy that it wasn't curdled or over whipped and it also wasn't too runny either. It piped up beautifully and this actually held up really, really well in the fridge at the venue and when we took them out, they lasted for a while as well. Well, a while as in before people devoured them. They were definitely the first cupcakes to go. I'm very lucky to have an air conditioned house, but I still wanted to get these packaged up and put in the fridge as quickly as possible just to maintain that hold and to make sure that it did not spoil. Now, of course, you can leave whipped cream out for a little bit and it's not going to spoil right away, but I was just really, really keen on getting those into the fridge as I also had to make space on my counter so I could finish up the cake. I know I said that the semi-naked cake was pretty much finished, and it was, but I felt like it needed just a little bit of something to tie everything together. My sister-in-law is very chill, go with the flow, so I knew that she would be totally fine with this. We had kind of discussed it at the rehearsal dinner, but not really, so I decided to add on a fondant rose detail. I just felt like the cake needed something to tie it all together, since the cupcakes didn't look super, super rustic, so I needed a little bit more elegance on there. I've adhered roses to cakes many different times, but it seems like every time I have a little bit of a different technique. This time around, I just used a lollipop stick that I had, and then I used another layer of petals to put around that lollipop stick so you can't even see it from the back. I went really, really safe with the colors here. Because I didn't actually have a dusty rose petal dust, I went with a little, little bit of pink, and then I put a little bit of brown on there. Oops. What happened? I'm taking a video. Oh, Hi. lovely. I wanted to show you me completely not stressed out. I had a little bit of stress during delivery, but it actually turned out really well. There was a bunch of family members ready to grab everything out of the car, and because that cake was so tiny and so easy to transport, it really wasn't a headache at all. I think this was one of the smoothest wedding orders that I've ever done. So this was a six inch semi-naked cake with 102 filled cupcakes. Let me know down in the comments below where you're from and how much you would charge for this entire order, including setup and delivery, and I will let you know my answer in a short. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!